Right, so I've just downloaded this plugin here called Zebralet from UHE or UHE. It's a free download off their website. Um, I've only scratched the surface of it at the minute, but from what I've seen, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I was going to show you guys uh, what I've been doing with it. So I've just programmed in uh, these simple chords here. Uh, this is just the default sound that you get when you load the plugin up. So every time you load up a preset you have these 16 boxes here labelled with 1 to 16 and in each one you can create a different shape. switch between the different shapes as you please. Okay so I'm gonna go and make a sound that I'm happy with. So I'm gonna click on this waveform box here and I'm gonna switch this to spectrum mode. this sound as my starting sound. Now I was looking for a way to automate these nodes in Ableton uh, but when you click on configure and you play about with the nodes you don't get anything you just get this slider box here which if you look at this white highlighted box here the slider just slides between the different waveforms Okay, so I was uh, playing about and looking at the way I could utilize this. So uh, this is what I've kind of came up with. So I'm going to make sure this box here is highlighted. Uh, it has the white box around it. And then about halfway through, I'm going to right click onto this box and I'm going to click on duplicate. Now, duplicate is going to place whatever is highlighted in white into the box that you've just right clicked on. Okay, so now you can see 10 and 1 both have the same shape in it. So I'm going to play about with this a bit, open it up a little bit. I'm going to go back to wave 1 highlight again and then I'm going to right click on the new box and this time I'm going to click on more and now what that's done is gradually morphed between the two shapes it's pretty cool okay so I'm going to have this highlighted again go to the end right click duplicate and on this one I'm going to open it right up Again, right click, go to morph. So now what I'm going to do is select the instrument in Ableton, Control and G to group it, open up the macros, uh, select map, map this slider to a macros, name this Uh, morph, give it a colour, now I can hide all this and now we have an evolving deep house chord. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, yeah, so it's a pretty cool little plugin for free. Uh, I've not even delved into all the other things that the things looks like it can do. But uh, I just thought I'd show you guys that. I just thought it might be helpful to some people. Okay, it's been C. Lopez. Peace.